Uh, but for now, let's talk about the police, shall we? Uh, what do you think? I mean, we read all the time, don't we? We listen all the time. Pretty much everyone, everywhere, everyone's saying they ain't got no money for this. They're getting pulled off into this direction, the other direction. What should the police be doing? I mean, the easy answer to that, isn't it, is fighting crime. Um, but where are the boundaries? Where, the, where are the lines on this? Uh, what about mental health issues? Uh, calls such as transporting vulnerable people from one place to another. Is that the police's job? Because one police and crime commissioner says he doesn't think so. He's been, his force, should I say, has been spending over 50,000 hours in 2021 alone dealing with mental health issues. He says uh, if this continues, he's going to send a <coughs> for police time to the local authority. I mean, I'm not really sure he'd get very far with that, but non, uh, notwithstanding that, it got me thinking, Peter, where do you stand on this? The role of the police, uh, are there boundaries to this? Your thoughts? Well, two things. One, it's absolutely true. The police are constantly called to deal with the mental health problems. And the reason for this actually goes back to our old friend Enoch Powell, who, when he was Minister for Health, uh, destroyed the residential mental hospitals of this country, uh, many of which survive as extremely ex expensive uh, blocks of flats and housing, uh, which were utterly wiped out in favour of supposed care in the community, which is neither care nor in the community, which basically means abandoning uh, mentally ill people uh, in bed sits while they are expected to take, uh, in, in many cases, quite powerful psychotropic drugs, which many of them don't take. Consequence is that somebody has to pick up the pieces uh, when this goes wrong, and the police are, and indeed the prisons, have a terrible time picking up the pieces from this. There's no question of it. Uh, but it's not really the central problem with the police. Central problem with the police. I mean, we could we could resolve that by deciding that we were going to actually rebuild, as we ought to do, in my view, uh, the the mental hospital system, so people have the residential care which so many of them very badly need. And what we also need to do is to actually prosecute people for the possession of the drugs, which in many cases lead to them becoming mentally ill, which is one of the reasons why mental illness is such a huge problem among us. But the police themselves uh, are wholly and utterly misaligned. For the, for the job which they're supposed to do. They're, they were hired originally and used to do the job of patrolling the streets preventively to stop crime and disorder from happening. And they have stopped doing that. They've closed the police stations from which, in which they were based while they did it. And they have become a reactive fire brigade type service which waits for crime and disorder to happen and then rushes to the spot. Completely useless, incredibly heavy on manpower. They have many, many more police officers now than they had in the 1960s when they did the job properly. They have vast budgets. They have huge numbers of white-collar staff backing them up, but they still can't do it, and they never can do it, because if you, if you follow reactive fire brigade policing, crime will exponentially increase, and you will never catch up with it, and you won't be able to look after the mentally ill either. It's very simple, and the police refuse to pay any attention to it, and the Home Office refuses to pay any attention to it as well, uh, and eventually it will collapse. My argument is we should close down the existing police and start new ones. Uh, proper, lo proper local responsive police forces which actually do the job which Robert Peel originally set out for them to do. The police is a, are a vast, failed, nationalised industry which has not for years done the job that it's supposed to do. The criminals are neither, are, are neither arrested nor prosecuted and the, the work is simply not being done. And the police are utterly uh, resistant whenever this is put before them. They make excuses for it, but the fact is that the public are beginning to realise that they're being severely let down. Cool, blimey. Uh, basically, do away with the police. And no, start not do away with again. them. Replace start them. Again. No, replace them with the proper police force. In, in the United States, all policing is local, as it used to be in this country. Before Roy Jenkins merged the police forces into great big bureaucratic lumps in, in 1967, no, Rihanna, we had small that. local police forces which were responsive to their neighbourhoods and did their job. Now we have these bureaucratic lumps which, which pay no attention to public opinion or desire and don't do the job. Mariana Hotter, what I do you make to that? I find Peter Hitchens both baffling and sometimes enticing because there's a bit that I agree with. Oh, good. And then there's a bit that you explain your reasoning that I just think is absolutely cuckoo. So, yes, I agree. I, don't think, I think you mustn't say things like that. I've actually written a book on this subject. Uh, and I, 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 I know, I know a lot. No, I didn't know. I'm just saying, just using words like cuckoo. Okay. I think it's just, it's just lowers the, 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 the debate to the point of, to, to the point of heckling and, and, and incivility. If you want to say that something I, 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 I say is wrong, yeah. then advance a case. Okay. But just to use words like cuckoo, it just simply breaks the rules yeah, of serious no, debate. Yeah, no, take one then. Advance the case. So. Sometimes I find the statement that you come out with right at the kind of the, the, the headline statement, I go, yes, strangely, I agree with you. And then you provide the reasoning 
and I feel regularly surprised at how much I disagree with you. Well, give us an example. For example, I agree. The police are not able to... or are not doing the job that we need them to do. They are not delivering on that contract that they have with society, which is that they police by consent and they provide services to keep us safe, to prevent crime, to detect crime and to provide the support for the community such that we can all live law-abiding, happy and successful lives. Agreed. However, I do not agree that that's because we should actually have mental asylums again, lock people up who are on psychotropic drugs and... Wait a minute, I didn't say uh, anything about... And go back to a, go back to a, a past, which was a sort of halcyon, nostalgic, romantic version where Bobby's on the but beach, bundled around the village green... A professionalized I, I didn't say school. any of that. Let her finish her point. No, but I didn't say any of a it. So I can't, I, can't, I can't let her criticize me for things that I didn't say. So uh, if we stick well, to what I actually then, said. So no, I've already heard you say, you say about nine things, attributing them to me, which I did not say. Pick one of them and what she said that's, that's wrong. I, it's not really about you, though. It's about the police. Well, it is, about, about. It, 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 it is about the police. But, I mean, you, you, first of all, you mixed up two things. I, 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 made a, I made an absolutely clear attack on Enoch Powell's closure of the mental hospitals and said they should re be, be reopened. This I disagree with. You disagree with that? Absolutely. You don't, you don't think we should have mental hospitals? I think that we should have... Uh, not, not in the way that we did in the old days, where people well, got locked up. You know, the key got thrown away. Well, people got electroshock therapy. Families. People never are getting electroshock again. therapy but, as we speak. It is still very shockingly used in the National Health Service, and I'm absolutely against it. As I'm, as I'm against an awful lot of the treatments which were be used at the time. But mental, had mental health you, breakdowns got you, you, up you and must left. know people. You must know people. I know people who have who've had members of their families who badly need residential mental hospital care and cannot get it because there isn't any. It is tremendously difficult to get into British mental hospitals because there are so few of them. That's got nothing to do with reopening 1950s-style mental hospitals. I never said I was in favour of that, because obviously I'm not. This is not the 1950s. There have been huge advances in okay, well, many things since then. It's just, then. It's just wrong and unfair to caricature an opinion. So I think what, we, what, uh, what is clear to me is that this is about funding. The, the, looking after people with mental health conditions so that they don't get picked up by the blue light services. So paramedics getting called out or the police officers getting called out because all the other services just haven't been able to provide people or to prevent them being in a situation which is being deemed criminalised. I absolutely think it's wrong that police officers are the people to be escorting juveniles to a safe place or sitting with um, someone who's been involved in an incident and they have to sit in an A&E department because they need medical treatment. They don't really need a police escort, but equally the police can't hand them over to someone else. That's also wrong. Well, you might, you might find outside... people in the health service a bit worried about the fact that, 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 that uh, violent people who've also been injured are taken to A&Es because it can be very frightening in those well, places. Well, let's step Saturday back nights. a few more stages and have a situation, have a society, have a set of state... Um, supported system well, sure, that yeah. mean that those people don't end up in crisis in the first place. So your idea of, of care in the community fails many It has people. failed. I think you're right, but I think that's not because fundamentally it's a bad idea. I think it's an absolutely fantastic idea to keep people in the fabric of society, allow them, enable them, help them to live the most um, engaged and enriched and supported life as possible, rather than locking them up well, in an institution. Well, it's, it's, but it's, it's, that requires it's, it's, support, it's, it's, it's and support up, requires many, funding. Many of the people who were in mental hospitals before were, were, were glad to be in them, and what and, and the, the almost paradise idea of, of what care in the community means, which you've just you've just enunciated. And it, for a lot of people, it's just life in a bedsit. That's terrible. That's what it I, is. Once again, I agree with you. That is terrible, but that's because the funding and the support isn't there. So don't throw away well, the baby and the bathwater. The, Just the, the, make it, it better. It may be that the thing itself doesn't work. There are many, many, many things uh, wrong with our society. But if, 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 since we were talking about the police's problem with mental, mental health, it seemed to me to be worth mentioning something most people don't know, 
about Enoch Powell's water tower speech and the moment at which he said that all these places should be shut down. They simply don't know. Uh, they all know about his horrible, <laughs> yeah, his, hor- his horrible rivers things. of blood. Speech. They don't know about this one. It was one of the, it, it was it was one of the worst things ever done by a post-war politician. And, and we should realise that we have we have left a great hole in our social provision, which leaves an awful lot of people leaving leading very lonely and unpleasant and disastrous lives. Well, there you go. That's uh, what the panel think. Marianne, she wants more time. Uh, but, unfortunately, I don't have that much left anymore. Look, it's 20 <laughs> to 7 already. The time flies, doesn't it? Ian says, well said, Peter. I'm a retired police officer and I agree with you 100%. Alan says, Michelle, Peter Hitchens is right in his analysis of the police service. I personally was an officer for 30 years and worked as a civilian advisor for 10 years. The police service quit the streets in the 90s and now they are nowhere to be seen. Um, lots of John says the police prioritise city centre drunks and drug dealers now. Normal people uh, cannot get the police to attend to anything. Uh, but we all suffer antisocial behaviour on a regular basis. Um, we call the police many times and just get given a crime number. Nothing else, Tony says. The police are political and biased, and they always prosecute anyone on the right, but turn a blind eye to the lefties. Really? Do they, Tony? You tell me, I don't know. John says, I work as a mental health nurse, and I know for a fact that the police deal with the same repeat offenders over and over again, and they are obliged to attend to do it. It's no wonder they are overstretched. Patricia says, the problem with the police is partly funding, fair enough, but mostly corruption. That's a bit harsh. Um, I can tell you what, uh, I wouldn't want to be a police officer for love nor money right now. There's not enough money in the world uh, that you could pay me to be a police officer because you get out there, you risk your life, you know, goodness only knows what you're going to find at the end of 999 calls these days. I wouldn't like to find out, but you do seem to get a lot of stick. Are you a police officer? Do you think you're getting a fair rap? You tell me, gbviews at gbnews.uk.